What's up guys, I'm Moana Turtle and Pokemon Masters is finally here and we're going to talk about some kind of like day one stuff uh, in regards to whether or not it's worth it to spend money on this game. I'll give a couple perspectives and but so one thing that people have been complaining about oh now that we can finally log in and servers seem to have stabilized i have not seen like a connection error uh as of this morning like last night that's all i was getting so i couldn't really do anything uh but people are still complaining about the amount of stuff that they get for free oh uh, that one i kind of disagree you know or i will say that it's less than other games have kind of like historically given uh on launch but i don't think it's that bad so let's take a look at the whoa, whoa, whoa launch celebration and so a couple important key numbers is 3000 which is the amount of gems required for a 10 summon and eh, maybe that's the only important number oh and i guess like 100 like the worst uh if you buy the cheapest the least value uh gems it's basically a dollar for 100 so launch celebration login bonuses and the a couple important things is you get for 10 days 200 gems straight and then you already have in your box a thousand so that is three thousand so you do get enough for a 10 summon which i think is pretty good and if you're worried like oh well i wasn't um i didn't sign up on day one that's okay because there's only 10 days for this thing and the pit rally period is till mid-october so you got plenty of time doesn't matter if you're viewing this video on launch day or in september or early October you'll be fine you'll get that enough gems to free summon um, I think there is a clause that like they always have like oh rally period and content are subject change without notice but I kind of feel like that's just something they have to put in the chances of them doing that and upsetting people I feel like is very unlikely so that's that as far as free stuff um, other free stuff is the daily quest so uh, the general stuff you know this stuff ain't these missions ain't going over time soon. The important ones are the dailies, and uh, from like the early access stuff, the, the things that never change, but now that the game's released, I suppose it is possible that they do change. But they're really easy to do. Uh, when I was when the content was getting kind of stale, all I would do is do the like super hard level three times, and that was enough. And then I would go to the shop and exchange an item, and then that was enough to get me all the. All I really care about is this thing to complete all the missions to get our 30 gems per day. And uh, for the launch celebration, there is, uh, looks like 30 missions, but it doesn't look like you get gems. Looks like it's all items, which is a little disappointing. Uh, but also you have plenty of time to finish these. And most likely, I think if you as you go through the story, so complete designated area, these are probably just based on the actual levels. Uh, so some more free stuff but that's not really that important all right let's see now let's go to all right for that thousand gems and all the stuff where do you pick it up you just pick it up with this present thing over here and so there's all mine still um oh log in every single day so somewhere on the side i'm showing the kind of like what i my bonuses are for like the next five days and almost typically there's at least one 100 gem thing per day or no per week or whatever for five days uh, so whether or not you're playing, if you think that you might want to keep up with this game long term, even if you're bored, just log in. Make sure you uh, get as many of these 100 gem things as you can. Now let's go to the shop. Alright, so how much does it actually cost to play this game? Uh, let's take a look. So I mentioned in a previous video that, you know, most gotcha games kind of have like these, oh, welcome packages that you can get that are pretty good value. Uh, I would say these are not very impressive. Uh, they're not, no, nah, they're, they're a little lackluster, or, in fact, like, this game is pretty expensive in general. So again, the important numbers are 3,000 for that 10 summon, and so, like, the most expensive package, I believe the math comes out to, it's like a dollars, 150 gems, um, just under, so that's like $20 for a 10 summon, that's, that's pretty expensive. The only caveat there is... That there is a special summon that you can only do once and that is a guarantee so you kind of have are you guaranteed one five star and then you have nine shots each with seven percent chance to get another one or to get more rather 
Uh, so that's you know that's not bad, but the one thing I want to stress is as the, in the game as it is right now, like you can go really far without needing to summon at all. Um, so I've completed all or no, as of yesterday, they did release new content which I haven't done yet. But I've completed all the content and I've done all the levels using only free to play characters, uh, so that's entirely doable. So. My first suggestion, or one way to approach this, is don't do this. Uh, even Don't even buy any of those packages. My understanding is that those are not going anywhere. They're, they don't have an expiration date. Um, and the reason why is, here, this banner. Uh, you refer to me these things at the top as banners for the like, different special summons. This thing is around <laughs> till December. So this game is free to play friendly, but it's very expensive if you want to pay. So my suggestion would be, kind of just ignore this go through the content and all right when you're done it's like you know what i still want to do it because now i'm loving this game so much that i want to try the trico the dust cloth the, the toad doll whatever the fur alligator the lichen rock um and i want to go for those like okay um uh, you know I, or actually you can make the decision whatever you want but that would just be my suggestion another way to approach it is this daily discount um so the way I look at this is it's a third of the price. In fact, I think worst case scenario and when it comes to purchasing gems, uh, I feel like that standard rule applies. It's kind of like if you buy more, you get you get more or you spend more, you get more. That's probably more appropriate. Uh, but worst case scenario, it's a dollar for a hundred gems, which is enough to do that daily sync pair. And so we'll go through the pros and cons of this approach. The pro is that it's reasonable to think about it as it's literally a dollar a day. If you're playing this game for like hours a day, like I feel like that's an okay invest, like not investment, but you know, that's an appropriate amount of money to spend considering the amount of entertainment value versus of, over the amount of time that you're playing. So that doesn't really, I think that's, that's perfectly fair and it's a nice way to like slowly build new characters um i think if you were to do let's say let's say the game was super cheap and you did like five ten pulls and all right i have all these five stars uh one thing that might happen is like oh i'm just going to use all my five stars they're, they're obviously better i think that the daily discount especially in the beginning it's like oh okay now i got this new sync pair it's my only new one until tomorrow so i'm going to spend the day trying him out, learning its moves, seeing what he's good at. And in my opinion, that's like the best way to really enjoy this game, especially when there's, or actually I haven't completed all the content as of this moment, but I'm willing to bet there's not a whole lot and they're gonna to continue to taper more on. So I kind of like the daily discount approach. Again, it's like a dollar a day for um, older people. I think like one reasonable way to look at it is like, oh, well, if I make my coffee in the morning as opposed to going to Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks or something that's that's like save like more than a dollar a day and you know and I can get get these sync pairs so I do think that that's a reasonable way to approach it that I kind of like um, as far as what I'm gonna do so I'm not gonna do anything most likely until another banner comes out I'm pretty happy with the five stars I have and those two five stars I got Trico and um, Lycanroc were obtained or kind of summoned doing basically going through the campaign and logging in every day. So there's plenty of gems to acquire through the campaign. And to be honest, I think that's more than enough. But if you do want to spend money and like, you know, it's it's a very fun game. I, I you know, I don't hold that against anyone, but those would be the two ways that I would approach it is go through the content and then decide, cause you have plenty of time, decide if you want to do this 3,000 gem thing. In fact, I think you'll kind of get more out of all the free-to-play characters and have fun learning with them if you do that. Or just go with this uh, re um, the one dollar daily, or the less than one dollar it should be. If uh, like, all right, let's go back to that um, purchase gem screen. Uh, so like, let's say you know we go we buy oh, oh, we buy the expensive one and we get 5200 gems and like all right well that's my dailies for like almost two months and like at a seven percent chance like yeah you'll probably get some five stars as well 
but you get the added bonus of, you know, you actually have time to appreciate the three stars, the five stars, because, you know, there might be some, or like, ultimately the way that gacha games will probably work, or this one will probably work, is the five star ones, maybe they'll always be a little bit better um, than the three or four stars, even with like the raised potential, you know, maybe you can't complete, actually, I'm pretty sure that the way I'm going to approach the game, maybe I won't be able to complete these EX missions that people are talking about that are super difficult, and I will not be that top 1%, top 5%, but I can do 95% of the con content at my own pace. Um, and that last 5%, like, yeah, I can't complete it. Maybe maybe over time I will be able to, maybe through co-op if <laughs> people are willing to carry me. Uh, but I'm pretty confident that I can get very far going in a very free to play style. So um, that's just my own thoughts. But just to summarize, guys, um, log in daily and do the daily whoa do the daily missions uh at at like no matter what uh and i do think that this game is very enjoyable hope you enjoy it um tread lightly though if you do spend money like in my opinion this is very expensive uh for a gotcha game so let me know what your thoughts are down below and uh, look forward to a lot more well let's keep falling down uh pokemon masters content really excited for this game to finally be out and uh, that's it for now. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.